Well, I want to show you how to prettify an APIs platform app mm -hmm. to make it look a bit like Montego, and specifically how to create that ribbon bar that we see on top. So for that, I'll, I'll go through the concepts of ribbons, what, what's the terminology like and stuff. The library that we wrote that we now open sourced to, that integrates the ribbon into an APIs. And then I'll walk you through an example of actually using that and creating the layer file to, to make things happen. And if we have time, I'll, I'll explain some of the, the APIs that were involved in creating the library, so how things function under the hood. So, Flamingo is a Java library that was curated by a guy called Kirill Grouchinkov. He's currently one of the Android developers at Google. He's written quite a few Java, uh, he, for instance, he created the substance looking here. He's written quite a few Java libraries that deal with, with prettiness, that create controls and that, that change the look of, of Java applications. So he has a library called Flamingo. Flamingo is the ribbon bar for Swing. Let's maybe just open Word or something and just look at a few of the concepts. This thing is called an application menu. And um, it shows menus on the left hand side and a pane on the right hand side. Then actions expand and have sub actions on the right hand side. In the bottom, there are buttons. Okay? And here's some kind of a shortcut bar thingy. And then this is the main ribbon. Um, just look at how things differ from normal swing control, from, from normal toolbar. <coughs> there's, there's, there are things that are buttons that, that do paste, as well as that have a drop down for, for special kind of actions. Then ribbons have buttons that expand stuff and collapse stuff. And then they have multiple tabs with all sorts of kind of buttons. So, in, in terms of Flamingo terminology, the whole thing is called the J-Ribbon. <coughs> J-Ribbon has ribbon tasks. Ribbon tasks are the, the tabs. And tabs contain ribbon bands, for instance, clipboard, font, paragraph, all that stuff. This is an application menu button. This is called the taskbar, the little shortcut bar on top. And this is called an expand bar. So, and these are called ribbon, ribbon buttons. So all in all, quite a complex control to build and a lot more complex than, than typical NetBeans menu and toolbar buttons where there's a toolbar and it has actions, that's it. And a menu and it also has actions. So now we're looking at multiple levels, multiple layers and well, multiple, a, a deeper hierarchical structure. Just a bit of history. Um, the first attempt at an integration between Flamingo and NetBeans um, was built by a guy called Gunnar Reinsef and Michael Tullis. They worked for a company called Excellent. Exactly. And they created a look and feel that contained the Flamingo stuff inside the platform specific brand. Okay. So for us that doesn't really work. We want to have we want to support multiple look and fields. And because they integrated the ribbon stuff into the, the, the platform specific stuff, um, it didn't work for declarative registration in layer files. And if you don't do that, then suddenly you lose the whole reason for using a modularized NetBeans platform. Because you get dependency issues. So if your, your, your stuff that creates the ribbon needs to depend on all modules that have actions, for instance. And, and that is just a, just a nightmare. So this time around, we want, definitely want to have declarative action registration with all the features, position, position attributes, shadow files, instance files. We, we want to be able to use most of the Flamingo features, not just part of them. We want to be look and feel independent, and we want to be able to customize the whole ribbon creation using service providers and the user needs expansion. Okay, 
let's have a look at how we do that. I've created a stupid little text editor platform. Can you guys see this? <coughs> so <coughs> the sources of it's it's just the, the platform main module and one module that just adds some text editor features. And the only feature it really adds is a new document action that just creates a new document from a template. Looking in the layer file, we register the new document action, which you by now fully understand, I assume. Actions are still coming up. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh my but god. We've, we've, we've referred to them, we've seen them. We've seen them. Okay. Mm. okay. Maybe we should just have a quick look at them. I'm going to steal Kirtan's fun there. No, no, please do. But um, actions are registered in the action folder. And they are brief, well, they are instance files actually. You, you had a look at instance yeah. files. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then, if they're regist referenced by menu bar and toolbar and stuff, they usually use shadow files, which are actually just like symlinks to the, the real instance file, which is situated here. Okay. So, what I did here is I just added the new action to the file menu. Let's just run there. It's actually quite good because we haven't covered this really in detail yet, and now you're doing it instead. So it works out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so standard NetBeans platform app with all the standard menus that you see by default when you run it, except for the new action. New action is added, creates a new blank text document, and this in turn enables save all action, the undo action, and all the edit actions. Okay, so far so good. Now, let's add the ribbon bar. To do that, I just add the ribbon bar project to the module suite, which is this one, and I include it. And now I run the application again. Okay, our application looks a bit different. So, <coughs> there's the, NetBean, the default NetBeans application button with nothing in it and just the default toolkit which says application. Okay, so, it, it was a design choice of mine. I could have now gone and read everything that was in the file menu and just put it there. Mm -hmm. But I, my intention was actually to force the user to really think about what he needs in the file menu and what he wants to put into the other ribbon component. Because ribbons, are supposedly to, to be much user friendlier, so you should put some thought into how the, the ribbon is actually designed and what goes away. Okay, let's start by populating this ribbon box. So we create a new folder which is called ribbon. And that name is hard coded just like menu and toolbar folders are hard coded. And inside that, we put another folder called admin, also again hard code. And inside the app menu, we want to reference our new app. say a home task pane.
And inside that, we place, let's say, the cut edge. And because you guys didn't come here to watch me type, mm. I will just copy that. Okay, so inside the home folder, we'll put the clipboard um, ribbon band. And let's give that a position attribute. Clipboard folder. And in the clipboard folder, we put a reference to the cut edge. Again, it reference a shadow file and it's the standard cut action from the Netflix platform. Okay, let's run that. Okay, there it is. If we create a new document, it works. Now, this is NetBeam's standard icon, which is like a bit too small, actually, and it is a bit old-fashioned. <laughs> so we can easily um, override the default icons, default names, all that kind of stuff inside the registration of the river. So. Sorry guys, I actually, um, I forgot to show you, as in, inside this test application I added a few resources so that I don't have to um, do that while I'm showing it to you. <coughs> okay, so this is inside our, our text test application. And then um, it has a description and some other attributes that, that you can all look up in the documentation once I get so far as to write them. Um, <laughs> so these are some specific, specific attributes. These like are some Twitter and the Exactly. These are very specific attributes to this um, registration inside the ribbon plan. So let's run it again. Okay, new, and then we've got a more prettier cut icon, which is